Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you watch my haul video, I'll put a link up here, you'll see that a beautiful, um, really kind person, I don't know who they were, it was just um, gifted to me from a subscriber when I was not very well. And it meant the world to me. Now in this little book is some gorgeous Christmassy scenes. And <coughs> all winter scenes, for those of you that hate Christmas, I thought I would try and incorporate that in the channel. And just to show my um, love and appreciation of this beautiful gift, I thought we'd do a colour along together. Now, already from my haul I'd had lots of requests because I brought this set of colour, I think that's how you say it, colour coloured pencils, 240 set. And people have asked if I would do a colour along using them, so that's what we're going to do. Um, now I apologise in advance if you see my Dalmatian pyjamas, I'll roll my sleeves up out of the way. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Now the page I've chosen, this is just a thick piece of acetate that I use as a blending mat and when I'm painting underneath pages. The page I'm gonna, I've am going i chosen, unusually for me, is this gorgeous little polar bear scene. And we are going to do really limited colours. We are going to do blues and greys and it, I've practiced it and I'm really pleased with the outcome. So quick flash, that's my practice, I've printed it out, Just I don't want to wreck the book. So just smooth that down, it's such a lovely book, it's, it's just stunning. Now don't be horrified but I am going to use my new acrylic paints and I am going to block out all the background. Yes it's going. Now. I've got a little, this was from a dinner service, but it's all broken, so I used this little bowl. And I'm going to use my Deco Art Americano paint, the white one, to put a base down because it's beautiful and thick and opaque. And then I'm going to use my new set of Shuttle Art acrylic paints. So I've got Sky Blue here and Ultramarine. Now, when I practiced, they're not very opaque, but then I hadn't, shake, I hadn't shook them. Now when I shake them, I can't even hear the liquid in it, so they may be, that one you can a little bit, but they may have thickened up. So because I've got a hoof ton of this, I'm going to use that to um, wipe the background out, and then I'm going to do this blend with the colours. So we're going to squirt ourselves a little bit of white in here. Okay, see that looks quite runny, but it's perfect. I'm going to take, um, this is um, one of the paint brushes from the same set I showed in my haul also. And I'm just going to damp it off. And that looks quite runny, doesn't it? I mix it up, but it's nice and thick. So please don't be horrified, but the background's going. Because I have this idea of how I want it. And um, so we're going to get rid of it. Actually, I don't know why that's so runny. It's normally really thick like that. And we'll see how this paper copes. But it's, it's got blue in there. Never mind, it's going to be blue anyway. So um, I'm going to paint this over. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I'm sure the colours that I'm going to use with the pencils in the picture you'll be able to colour with. So, so don't panic. So I'm going to white it all out. Goodbye! <laughs> Look at that beautiful, beautiful white colour. White colour opaqueness is what I meant to say. Well, that's got to go. Goodbye! <coughs> I'm just going to keep it, keep working it until I've covered all the bits I want. And I did test the Shuttle Art paints and um, they are nice and, and matte enough that you can colour over them. This is why I've got my piece of, um, my blending mat or piece of thick acetate is all it is, um, behind. Just 
take that out. And it's not because I can't be bothered, it's because I want to do this um, blend with my acrylic paints. And I want to go from this very pale blue into a darker blue at the top. Okay. I think we're nearly there. Gone over a little bit there. Push it back. That's okay. There we go. All right. Now, I've got a tiny bit of white left. So I'm going to take the sky blue. So sky blue. I'm going to make sure it's really shaken well. And I'm going to put a drop of sky blue in there. Just a tad. And then a little bit more of the white. Now this is just my way of doing it. This is how I practice. Just my way of doing it. It's probably very different to somebody else's way of doing it, but this is what worked for me. So I've got a wet brush and I'm just going to go in and mix that together. So we get this nice pale blue and as we go up we're going to add more colour. So I'm going to keep adding colour to our little bowl here. So we're going to come up, start adding this blue in and if you do it while the paint's wet they'll blend together really nicely. And having a damp brush just stops the, um, hang on, concentrating, just stops any thick, harsh lines. Okay, so we've got blue. We can always go back with some white if we want some around the mountains, but... I think it'd be quite nice to have that very soft blue. Where are mountains going? Okay, so we've got a very soft blue going on. Oh no! I got it, I got it. <gasps> oh, that's what happens when you have stupid shaky hands. It's okay. Goodness me, that was close. Oh. That scared me. I've gone all shaky. And I practised out of the book because I didn't want to wreck it. And what do I do? Go and throw a paintbrush at it. Right, we're now going to add, we've got some pale blue. We're now going to add more sky blue to our mix. So we're going to get bluer and bluer. Might even need a little bit more, I think. It's quite pale, but I don't want it that pale. Okay. So, more sky blue. That's better. So we just build up a natural gradient, and then we're going to add that um, ultramarine colour at the top. So, I'm just going in here. Don't panic, folks. I know it looks hideous. It won't. We'll blend it all through. And if you find that you, your paint is getting too thick or you, it's not blending properly, we just put water on the page, uh, on the brush. Right up to the edge. So, I'm, like I'm saying, I'm not saying this is the right or wrong way to do it, it's just my way. Okay. So. Now to get that to blend in together, I'm going to rinse my brush off. I've got a pot of water next to me. One side's dirty, one side's clean. So now I've just got a damp brush. And I'm just going to go back over that, that edge and feather that away. Okay, get back in with some more of that dark 
darker blue. Okay, so we've got a good bit of gradient going on there. Now I'm going to take this gorgeous um, ultramarine and I'm going to stick a little drop of that on. And again, slightly wet brush and we're going to mix that in. So now we're getting a real blue because I want this top bit to actually be really dark. Well, not really dark, but darker. So I'm going right up there. Smooth it out so we don't get any lines. There we go. All right, now I've got like a playground child's sky. So I'm going to rinse my brush off again, clean it, and just make sure that it's damp, not soaking wet. And then I'm going to do the same as we did before. We're going to pull those colours in together. a bit of working but it'll come just be patient with it <clears throat> okay rinsing my brush off and I'm just gonna rid of that harsh line. There we go. And I'm going in with more, more ultramarine. So I just want a tiny bit now. Little drop. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to mix that up with not the whole of the paint, but just that little bit. And we're going in at the top there. And I'm going to keep going with that dark until I get it dark enough to build up this gradient because each of the layers will um, obviously is going to wash that um, mute that color down okay a bit more of the dark there we go okay then I'm going to rinse off my brush Make sure, I'm just drying it on a cloth, just so it's damp, and then we will work that until it blends out into the layer below. I'm going to rinse my brush off again. So it takes off any excess paint and we don't keep dragging in um, the dark colour everywhere. And I'm just working backwards and forwards. So what I might do now is switch to a like a flat brush. So it's just <coughs> just damp. And then let's work that. There we go. Got a little bit on the other page, but that's okay. Clean it off when you get too much of the dark colour on it. Just drying it on a cloth. You don't want it dry, but just damp. That way we're not oversaturating the page. There we go. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to leave that now. And any little bits down here that we haven't covered, we can go back in with um, later. There's my little bowl of goodness. I'll wash that off in a second. So, before we can do anything out with this page, I am going to firstly lift my page up. I've got it on there as well. I'm so messy. But it's okay because I can... Oh, look, I've made a mess. I can cover them up. That's fine. And now I've made even more of a mess. What an idiot. Don't laugh at me, people. I could actually go round her, couldn't I, with this colour while I've got it. There we go. Don't mess with your page, people. There we go. Otherwise you'll fluff up like I did. Alright, I'm going to leave that now completely to dry. And then, um, <clears throat> when we meet back up, um, we'll be able to start colouring. All right, my friends, I'll see you in a second. Right, guys, so I'm back. It's a couple of days later, actually, and I did coat this page um, with the blue. There's a bit of a streak down there, but I will do the blend when I colour that page. So if you remember, it went over. So this is how it's turned out. I'm not overly impressed with the Shuttle Art paints, but it could be this paper, but this paper is beautiful. Um, it was quite streaky, so I had to do a couple of coats. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get to colouring with our new Color pencils. I'm looking forward to this. So like I said, we are using a limited palette because I want it very icy blue in tones. So we're going to start with our mountains. And we are going to use Sapphire Blue, which is 086. Well, if I bring you down, that might help because it's quite a teeny tiny little book. I love it. So... We're going to put in sapphire blue where I think the shadows will go on the mountain. So I know it's quite a dark colour, but um, we'll tone it down with some white and some grey. This was the closest sort of, I want to sort of smoky grey appearance. So they're working beautifully on the paper, by the way. I just hope where I, it feels pretty smooth where I went, you know, remember where I spilt the paint. Well, drop the paintbrush. So I'm going in here. I'm just doing it lightly because I'm going to use the white to, to blend. And disclaimer, I'm using the Prisma white. <laughs> so then we're going to go in with, I cut them out so that they're easier to see because it's a smaller book. We're going to go in with Mist Grey, which is 188. And we're going over that like we usually do. And I am going to, I'm going to go over the blue, bring it out. Oh, they're quite nice to colour with. Right, so they don't feel, they feel soft, but they don't feel like prismas, I don't think. They're nice to colour with. We'll see how they blend when we smush them. So I'm using this mist grey to give us a bit of shadow because we're going to put, I'm going to use white Posca to put our snow in, our snow peaked mountains. So I'm going round the snow line with this grey. It's going to be our darkest shadowy areas. I'm just going to soften that a little bit, that edge. Okay, back over this blue. It looks awful at the moment, I know, but bear with me. It won't. Alright. Then, <clears throat> I'm going to soften this out before we go in with the other grey. So I'm taking my Prisma White, which is... PC938, or you could use your white from the set, which is 204. 
So I'm just going to use that to blend out this colour. We can go back in there once we've softened it. We may well need to do that. Depends on how the paper responds really. So yeah, they don't smush together like prismas, so you're going to have to be a little bit more cautious with your blending, Lucy. Okay. Right, so I'm going to add the light grey now 192 and very gently I'm going over the whole thing and see what that prism has been in there look So a whole mountain is going to be coloured. Back to our white. And then I'm going back in with that prisma. I'm going to try and blend that out. And then we'll go back in. go back in. Right, so we're taking my hands are freezing, it's probably why I'm not working they're not working very well. Okay, we're going back in with our sorry our sapphire blue. Go back in with that. Oh my hands it's because I'm cold. I'd left the thermostat. We've got a like a um it's not attached to the wall so a wireless thermostat for our heating and I turned it off obviously when I went to work this morning <coughs> and when I got home, it's actually the sun's out and it's glorious. It's freezing, freezing cold. But the thermostat had been left in the sun. So when I got home, my thermostat said it was 20 degrees in this house. It is actually, um, I think it was minus five, my car said this morning. Um... I can hear it's just kicking in now, but so it's taken a while for the thermostat to cool down out of the sun. So this is mist grey. Uh, we will get this blended, folks. Yeah, so my hands, with the, um, I know I bang on about it a lot, but with the fibromyalgia, coldness um, and indeed in street extreme heat um, it doesn't like it so they it, it, it like kind of they don't move properly they don't respond properly so I'm sorry that I'm holding the pencil like this but um, I have to move between holding it so you can see and holding it so that my hands work I think um, the temperatures are supposed to rise a bit next week, thank goodness. It's so cold. Alright, I'm going back over this. I'm going to try and smush this out. Okay, now I'm not going to use the, um, the lighter grey again. I'm going back in with my white. We might need to use a blender pencil here just doesn't seem to be doing it like I wanted it to. But once we get some of that good old waxy prisma down there, there we go. It's beginning to go now, look.
and as my hands warm up my colouring will get better. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, I am going to take, this is what's left of my stubby little Derwent blender and I'm just going to, um, I'm going to make sure it's clean on a scrap bit of paper and I'm just going to help that along a bit. I'm just going to help that blend out. Oh, just swiped my ticket across the room. I'm just blending over it. I'm going to go back in with that white. Really knock back that um, grey tone. There we go. Now we're getting smush. So if you don't have the prismas, um, what was I going to say? If you don't have the prismas, um, for whatever reason, uh, you can't afford them or you're not really that keen on them. I would recommend the white and the black because the white is the best white I've found, apart from obviously the um, Holbein's. Um, and whatever sort of pencils you, you're using, they will help to blend things out, as you can see here. So of my 240 pencils, <coughs> what I was saying was about um, oh, my hands was not having enough greys. Okay, right. Now we're there. That took some time, didn't it? Maybe I should go and get my hands warmed up before I do any more colouring. All right. There we go. Happy with that. Right. One mountain. Gosh, that took some time. Let's do another one and see if I can get these, these hands going. All right. So sapphire blue. And we are going to go up both sides of this mountain. I'm going to go in much lighter than I did before. We're going to build it up. Got a little bit more control over the hands now. There we go. And I'm going to go down this side. Come on, hands. Gosh, it's so frustrating. Okay. So I'm doing it really lightly. Then I'm going to go in with that mist grey. Okay. Come on, hands. You can do this. Right. We're going to go over that. I'm doing it very lightly. Going over that blue. This will give us that sort of smoky colour. And then we're going to go round that. Um, snow line. Okay. All right, what we're going to do is try and blend that out first before we put the other grey in. So I'm using my Prisma White. Okay, let's have a go at that. Okay, so I'm finding that then they don't blend like at the Prismas, but they, you know, they're a really good budget pencil, but they're not blending out like I would like them to.
but again I've only used them in this book I don't know if they just don't like this paper or we'll see we reserve judgment folks it could just be me and my hands not working properly because this paper's really nice so I don't get it Oh, well, that's blending out. Okay, let's put a little bit of the light grey on. Just a little bit. And we'll just really gently just put a little bit of that light grey on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is wherever the mountains cross over, we'll have that um, sapphire blue. So the behind this is behind this one, so I'm going to put a bit of sapphire blue there. And this one is behind, so I will put, let me move you so you can see, sapphire blue down there. And then our greys. So, for the snow, let's move these. We have got... Um, this beautiful and it really is lovely pale blue oh it's really you know it doesn't even oh it's just gorgeous so I am going to put a tiny bit at the peak here and you probably barely be able to see it because it is such a beautiful pale blue a little bit of the peak there and we'll do this one too down the side and then we're going to use light aqua green and again it's beautifully light if you just do it if you do a very gentle touch just going over that blue very gentle touch and not a lot And then we're going to use the white Posca pen. Put a little bit down there. Put some down there. So what we'll have to do is put these to the test in another book, won't we? Put these colour pencils to the test in another book and see what happens. But like I say, it's freezing, so the temperature in here is really cold, so that will that will make a difference to your pencils. Okay, so white Posca pen. It's just white. And what I'm gonna do. is outline that mountain bear with me here and I'm not doing it neatly I don't want it to be a um, totally rigid white line and we're going to go back in in a minute and put a bit of effect in. And you can use gel pen here. But I think with the way with my hands are playing today that Posca is much easier at the minute. Or any um, acrylic pen you've got. Okay, now I'm going to go back in and just kind of dot around this. Oh, that's my tummy rumbling. Okay, we're just going to break up that edge. It's just my way of doing it, but I quite like the effect that that gives. And then, that way, it will show up that beautiful, subtle colours that we've put in there, just to indicate snow on the top of the mountain so I'm just can you see I've just moved the book yeah, I'm just dotting those in 
So I'll probably do Our Lady um, off camera. And I'm going to put a little bit down the side. See, just break up that straight edge. Bit of the top. A bit coming down. Like that. You can just play with it until you're happy. We're going to do the same on this one. Just covering up those black lines. Posca pen works fine over it. And for um, the faults with the shuttle art paint, um, it's very matte, so that is one thing. But I mean, if you want a sort of, um, if you don't want such an opaque paint, they're perfect, but they're very um, translucent, and which is not what I was going for. But there we go. If you, yeah, if you want a translucent paint, which is really handy sometimes if you want underneath to show through, but you want to use um, acrylic because of the paper, that could be quite handy. Just pumping my pen. And that is how I'm going to do the mountains. And then we will have some splatters and stuff on the background, so but it just softens them up, stops them being so harsh. Um, particularly as they're in a slope, uh, we are in a supposed to be in a snowy, icy environment. Okay. All right. What do you think, folks? Just go in with a bit of a blender. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe that out. So under this bit, I'm going to put a tiny bit of sapphire under there too, and then blend that out. What I am going to do, my lovely friends, is I'm going to wait for the house to reach a decent temperature so my hands are working. And the pencils have warmed up, because they're very, everything's so cold. And it's not fair to pass judgement on them when the temperatures are freezing in this house, because it will make a difference to how your pencils perform if they're, you know, they're freezing cold. It's like me. I'm not performing well. So I'm going to let the house uh, reach temperature, reach a decent temperature. Um, I'll finish the mountains off and then we'll come back and we'll get on with the snow and the little fella that's down here. All right, my lovely friends, I'll see you in a sec. OK, mountains done and I've poscarised the top. We are now going to look at our, our beautiful polar bears and the ice before we do some embellishments on the background. Okay, so the colours I've got are, I'm going to use my, I'm just going to check that's dry, um, my white Prisma. I'm going to use the pale blue we've already had. And I'm going to use cypress blue. They're beautiful colours. So we're going to come up here. Should we look at baby first? So we're going to take the cypress, drip, cypress blue even, and let me tell you the saga before I carry on. <clears throat> My hands weren't working, as you know earlier. I, just, I couldn't, could not get warm, and um, so I went and checked a radiator. Heating wasn't on. In fact, I think it was nine degrees when I went downstairs, and the boiler had packed up. It, I, it sounded like it was trying to kick in, but it wouldn't work. So I turned it all off, reset it, still nothing. So I phoned the gas engineer. They were absolutely brilliant, to be honest. They were here within a couple of hours. And the outside flue had had frozen and blocked. Um, so it wouldn't allow the boiler to come on. So I'd sat here freezing to death. So scrap everything I said about the pencils before that, because now we're um, at a normal temperature within the home. They appear to be working much better. 
I did say I won't pass judgment until we'd used them, didn't I? Anyway, so let's carry on. So it definitely wasn't the paper and it definitely wasn't the pencils. All right, so we're going to go in with Cypress Blue. There we are. I just felt like I should tell you that before carrying on. Can you see the difference? A, my hands are working better. But look at how responsive the pencils are now. It was so cold in here. Okay, so I'm going to go round everywhere that I want some dark patches, even the little bit in the inside of his ear. It's going to be cypress blue. He is going to have some round his little neck. Round here. And we're going to bring that out. Just going to turn the page slightly. We're going to bring that out round his little paw. Yeah, so much more responsive. And as you can imagine, it, they are what um, pencils. These pencils are wax based, I believe. Even if they're not, um, when it's freezing cold, they're going to feel much harder, and they certainly did. So we're going to come out a little bit more here. Where else might he want a bit of dark? Just round his little muzzle. And where he's fallen over. Okay. A little bit round his paw. Okay. Then we're going to go in with our beautiful pale blue. There we go. And we're going to go over that and bring the pale blue out. See, there is a, a vast difference with how they're responding. In his ear. Oh, we want a little bit of dark behind there. Cypress blue. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, I'm much happier with them now. <laughs> I couldn't understand, even the white Prisma wasn't blending them out. And I couldn't understand why my hands weren't working, you know, why I felt so cold and I put the heating on. I'm so thick sometimes. But there we are. All resolved. They were absolutely brilliant, I have to say. Within 20 minutes, we'd got the heating back on. So I've just waited for the house to warm up before I carried on. Um, this was supposed to be a really nice, relaxing, quicker video. To produce anyway, I don't know about to watch. I presume it'll be, I think it might be quite long. Um, there's always a drama in my house, always a drama, people. My car went in for its MOT yesterday, failed. Not yesterday, Friday we put it in, it failed on a ball joint or something. I mean, it's mega old now, it's 2004. There's no status for me in this house with what car I drive, I can tell you. <laughs> Um, there we go. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna use our white here, yeah. uh, just white, and we're gonna blend that through. Can you see the difference? My goodness, what a difference! So we've got some white patches left, and we're gonna pull that blue out. I'm going over this pale blue and bringing that, just blending that through. I have to say, even with the warmer house, I'm not impressed with the white in the set. So, like I said earlier, if, if you only invest in a few uh, black and white, I think I said that earlier, or I think I started to say it and then didn't, um, invest in a black and white prisma. Makes your life so much easier. Okay. One little snowy dude. Let's do the other one. Same colours. Cypress blue. Let's move the white up. There we go. Right. On this fella, we're going to go in um, darker here. Because he's shadowed there. 
around where his leg joins. I'm going to come up there. We are under his little arm here. And my vision of this page was just um, blues and silver. So we just get up, it looks and feels cold. Going around here, we'll have a little bit under his jaw. And down this little tufty bit. Because polar bears don't actually have a colour. I know this because I watched it on the telly. <laughs> They are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Translucent. They pick up the colours around them. So, um, it would stand to reason that if such a place as this existed, with all these blues, that they would also be blue. Anyway, the reason for it is I just wanted the illusion of being very cold. So we will have to try them out um, on another page, just softening that a little bit, so that I can use more colours. A little bit there, under his paws, okay, and then we'll go in with our pale blue. Go back over that cypress blue. Nice and easy. I'm trying to do it so I don't get in your way. And I hope that you're getting that icy illusion from our little polar bears. That when you look at it, you think, oh, freezing. I'm going to come down his arm here. Bring that blue out a little bit round there. And, uh, just going to give it a bit of a sharpen. Now they're working, they're quite soft. <laughs> oh yeah, such a saga. Oh my thank goodness it's working. I was so grateful to see them. And um, when I opened the front door and said to them, Oh, thank goodness you're here. Thank you so much for coming. Um, they said, Oh, isn't it funny? Everybody seems to be really pleased to see us at the moment. <laughs> so I, th I don't think we got above freezing today here in the UK at all. Um, it is bitter. We have a little bit around his muzzle. This ear needs to be darker blue. There we go. I don't want it to get lost in that sky, but there we are. Okay, we'll bring it out softly around here. the top of his head how about that all right let's get our white and blend that through I'll just move those out the way now so we're just using the white Pulling those colours together. We can always go back in with a little bit of cypress blue if we need it. Is it cypress? Cypress. That's where I'll be off to in the summer for my lovely son's wedding. I 
it's our school works Christmas due tomorrow because we we finish at one o'clock tomorrow. I'm very excited to be able to be at home and colour as much as I like. I love it. going to take that blender just for this little bit. Is it clean? I'm just going to gently blend that through. Just going to want to pull that colour out a little bit more. Did I do that? Don't think I did that. Okay, let's just pull that cover just gently out. We'll just smooth that out a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Nice and soft blues. I might just go back in with that cypress blue a little bit just to round the edges just to lift that up even further. There we go. A bit round here, round his butt and where he's laying on the ice. Or where he's sitting on the ice rather. Okay, we are going to do a little bit more to him. I've got um, a gel pen to go around the outside. You could use acrylic marker, whatever you've got, fine liner. Just smooth that out a bit. Um, but we'll come back to that. faffing Lucy and move on okay so <clears throat> the ice we are going to use the pale blue and the light aqua green that we used in the mountains if I can pick it up so we're going to use light aqua green and we're going to use pale blue all right so I'm going to start with the light aqua green coming off that mountain. And I'm just gently putting some spots of colour in. So I'm going to join that line at where the mountain is. There you can see. Bring some of that colour down. And this side. Put a little bit under our polar bears. Ah oh, no, I know why that wouldn't was having was feeling different to blend. That was because I was where I dropped my paintbrush, if you remember. So it would have had a little bit of acrylic paint, that's why that we're getting a darker spot there. You know where I brushed it off quickly. Okay, so let's get that green in. Round those two, and a little bit round here. Okay, and we're gonna go in with our pale blue. And we're gonna, gonna use the edge of my pencil. And I'm not going to fill the whole thing up. I'm just going to do little bits and we're going to have some white left. You can put some, you could put some soft grey if you in if you wanted. Oh, 
Right, and then I'm going in with my Prisma. Just gently to smooth that out. I don't want it too smooth because I like the look of it with the texture of ice there. But I'm just blending it through a little dark bit there. It doesn't matter. Nice and simple. Very cold. Right, we can go back in now with a bit more blue, I think. I think, in this case, because we're just doing ice here, that less is more there. So we've just got a little bit of shadow coming off our polar bears and our mountains. And I'm just smoothing that out. I'm toning it down at the same time. Alright, a little bit there. There we go. All right, there we are, we're nearly done. So I have got, this is a, if I can get it around the right way, I don't know if you could pick up on that, Jelly Roll Moonlight. They don't have names, but this is the, pale, just a pale blue. <clears throat> and don't think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna take out the black lines. And I'm just gonna put this pale blue in instead. It's actually really quite effective. So instead of the black, we get a nice icy tone. Am I all on camera? Yeah. Okay. They do really, they cover up the lines quite well, considering this is a very pale colour. Covers up that black really nicely. So I'm going to leave the nose and the paws alone. really helps doesn't it and I'm not being neat I'm just sort of coming down a bit scruffy yeah we're nearly there Just because I'm just cleaning it while I'm coming off screen, I've just got a scrap of paper and I'm just taking any wax off the end of my pen so it re rolls. That's all I'm doing. Sometimes they get a bit gummed up with the wax from the pencils. Like I say, you could use um, fine liners, you could use um, the Thule Art. I got those pastel, beautiful pastel pens, um, acrylic pens. Could use that. Anything you want just to take out those black lines. Yeah. In his ear roll. 
there. So his nose and his claws are going to stay untouched. You might need to go back over any really dark patches. Okay. Let's do baby. They look cold enough. There we go. Then we're going to do the sky. And we're going to have a moon, because I took that out. And we're going to have some stars. I'm going over this black line too. Well, I'll let it dry and any patches that I feel I need to go back over, I will do. Some of the darker patches, like up around his head. Okay. I really like that. I wasn't going to do it, but I actually really like it. Here you go. I've done everything. No, little ear roll. Ah. So it's just a jelly roll moonlight. Incredible pens. Love them. Okay. Right. Now. I have got, if you've followed my channel long enough, you'll recognise these. I did think about using the um, Shaved Ice by Stampenders, which is a gorgeous um, iridescent snowflake type thing. But they're too big. The flakes are too big. So, what I've got is here, and I had this last year. I've used these quite a bit on the channel. These are Star Confetti. I will try and link them down below. They're holographic. So I've got a huge pack of those that last for, will last forever. And I've got my Moon Stamp here, which I absolutely love. And I've used that before on the channel. I'll, I'll link them down below if I can still find it. I'm sure we will be able to. That's what it looks like in gold. And then I've got... Um, this is by Spectrum Noir. And this is a Platinum... Um, metallic pigment and it's for stamping blending and embossing but we're just going to stamp with it today that's one of my little stars already on my page and then the other thing that i've got stars and glitter everywhere is a um what name is it what are the um Secura, that was what I'm trying to think of. Um, quickie glue pen. Now this will come out blue when you put it on paper. So you can see, oh, you can see that. Come out blue when you put it on paper. So you can see where it's going and then dry completely clear. So I've got my quickie glue pen and I've got um, a little pickup tool because these bits are so fine that these are, this is like a sort of silicone wax side and then you've got a metal side to help you pick up little tiny bits so the first thing we're going to do is our stamp so i'm going to take my spectrum noir i'm going to move the page down and i'm going to take my stamp and i am putting the stamp in the ink 
Okay, and I'm going to take. Hang on, sorry. I've got just a dry cloth here, and I'm just going to clean up that edge. Just so it stamps where I want it to stamp, nowhere else. Okay, then I'm going to place it down where I'm happy with it. The moon was originally here, I think we'll put it about here. Press it down and lift up. And you couldn't see. Then I've got one beautiful moon. And I'll have to let that dry, obviously. Just wipe my stamp off. It's a lovely, um, silvery look at that isn't that nice so let's start putting on our little stars and i thought i would put them on in groups of three so i'm going to take uh, my quickie glue pen can you see what i'm doing and i'm just putting in three little dots where i'm going to put my stars then i'm going to take my tool and Hang on, <laughs> I've got them on the desk next to me. I've got a little star on the end here and I'm going to pop it onto the glue. There we go. And then use that end to push it down. There we go. Let's do it again. It's probably a bit boring for you, I'm sorry. I love doing the finishing touches with you. Just press it down a bit. There we go, another one, there we go, so we've got three stars, <laughs> let's do another three, because the page will be finished then, I like wittering on, love doing Christmas pages, okay. Now I'm not going to overload the page with them because I just this page was more about the illusion than um, the illusion of cold and ice rather than overloading it. Well, that glue dried out before I could put it on there. It also dries matte so you won't see it which is really cool. There we go. Does help if you're not all shaky. What the heck? There we go. Let's put, let's have another group of three. Where should we put those? Um, here. Let's put them up here. One, two, three. Let's make sure I've got enough glue down. All right. Please work for me. Hey, there we go. Just have to be polite to it. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Okay. I'm just going to use the other end. Make sure that's pressed into that glue. All right. What do you think, people? I might add some more when you don't have to sit and watch. But I'm going to take my trusty white Posca and we're going to give some snow to our snowy icy picture I think we could do with a, another set. Now, I think I will do probably three more stars here and maybe some over here. Something like that. And maybe not all in the same, might, might do in a line. Should we just do it? Right. One, two, three. Because I'm assuming, if you're bored, you'll have switched off by now. If you're enjoying it, I'm sure you'll still be with me. Anyway. 
the one. Come on, behave. Thank you. There we go. You were like that, three in a line. Like that. There we go, three in a line. We'll do three in a line over here. Then I might even add some stickles. What the heck? Come on. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Okay. I really like that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I don't think I'm going to add any more um, stars. I think we're going to add a little bit of diamond stickles. Lucy's favourite. Gotta love diamond stickles. Get it in the right way. Diamond. And as you can see, <laughs> it's nearly empty. I've got another one. But. So let's add to the bottom of the, the snow on the mountains. Just round here, like that. Isn't that, that's better. How do I have a bit of shine, people? Just a bit, we have a bit at the top of the mountains. See, this is the trouble. I start putting stickles down, then I can't stop. Has it gone? I think it may have died. Yeah, let's get another one. It's okay. I have a backup, which is equally low. <laughs> there we go. A little bit in there. Follow the shape of that mountain, put a little bit up there, a little bit down there. I think, before I overdo the page, can you see those stickles? Can you? Yeah, you can pick that up now, look at that. Let's come out and make sure we can get the full page. Oops, wrong way. There we go. One beautifully snowy, glittery scene. I love that page. I love it. The simplicity of the colours, but I love it. The only thing I might do is to go back over some of the um, lines when the... Uh, what am I trying to say to you folks? I'm trying to say I might go back over the lines with the blue gel pen when I know it's completely dry and I'm not going to fluff it up. They're stuck nicely. So there we are. And I want to, once again, Furbles, thank you so much to the subscriber that sent it to me. I truly appreciate it. I really do. It's a, the most incredible book and I'm going to have hours of fun colouring in it. So, <clears throat> until we meet again, now... We've got RJ Hampson, so we're going to have to cram these in because it's the 15th already. We've only got um, 10 days till Christmas. Um, we've got RJ Hampson um, one. Do we want to do another RJ? Or... Because I was thinking of the carousel or the Christmas tree or something like that and building it again, colouring it and building it with you. Or do you want to do a Christmas scene out of this one? I know people are desperate to see it. And we could use uh, we could use those new um, ahoo hoo pens. We could use our ink tents blocks or ink tents. We could use watercolors on camera. The possibilities with that book is endless. Let me know what you want to see, or maybe we can do both. So which one do you want to see first? <laughs> All right. 
So until we meet again really, really soon, because we've got to cram it in, take really good care of yourselves, folks, and thank you so much for joining me. It truly means everything to me. All right, friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.